Alright, now for one, lesson 66. This is on simplification of radical expressions and then square roots of large numbers. So again, two different lessons. Alright, let's talk about something real quick. Um, the last lessons, or two lessons, three lessons ago, you learned this. Square root of 50. And you learned how to do that. Remember how we took the square root of 50? And we took 50 and found the prime numbers. It would have been uh, 25 times 2. 2 would have been a prime number. And then 5 times 5. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So we would write it in a newer way. 2 times 5 times 5. Like that, right? Okay? And do you remember that this also could have been written like that? Yeah. Okay. Now, do you remember that this equals five. that? Yeah. Just like square root of 64 times the square root of 64 equals 64. Because square root of 64 is 8, square root of 64 is 8, and 8 times 8 is 64. Again, that was our standard that we used to look at and remember. Okay. So, the final answer for this would be square root of 2 times 5, because we simplified that, and then we would just reverse it and say 5 square root of 2, just because that's how they want to see it. Okay? So, you always put the number first, and then the uh, square part next. Okay? So, you learned that originally. Okay, let's look at some problems you're going to have. For example, square root of 18 plus square root of 8. Again, you're going to take 18, and we're going to find uh, 9 times 2. 2 is one of those. 9 would be 3 times 3. So when I rewrite this, it would be square root of 2 times 3 times 3, which is really square root of 2 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay? This square root of 3 times square root of, square root of 3 would just be 3, and then this square root of 2 would just be square root of 2. So it would be square root of 2 times 3. So I'm going to rewrite that. So it would be 3 times, or just 3 square root of 2, which means the same things. Because when they're next to each other, it means multiply. Okay? Yep. Now you're just going to leave that as your answer for this. Okay? Plus, now let's do this 8. I'm going to move over here to do it. 8 would be 4 times 2. Okay? And then 2 times 2. Alright? And now when we wrote that out, it would be square root of 2 times 2 times 2, which would actually be this. Okay? And then this 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 2 would be a pop, just a normal 2. And so our answer would be 2, and then I've got this extra square root of 2 right here. Okay? You with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this becomes our new problem. And up to this point, you've learned how to do this, you've learned how to do this, and then they've given you this and you've worked it. Now you've figured it out and you're going to work it. So because these are like terms, 3 square root of 2 and 2 square root of 2, you're going to add them. So this 3 plus 2 would be 5, and then square root of 2. Mm -hmm. Got it? Yep. So that's the final answer, um, and that's how you would work those kind of problems. All right? Let's do a few more to make sure you're getting it. 8 square root of 27 minus 3 square root of 75. Okay? First thing you're going to do is figure out this uh, square root of 27. All right, so I'm going to go on and do 9 times 3. 3 is um, a prime factorization, and then 9 will be 3 times 3. All right, so this would actually say 8 square root of, and I'm going to do separate ones, square root of 3, 3 times square root of 3 times square root of 3. And hopefully you know that one of these square root of 3s would actually be answer 3. And then if I multiply, I'll bring everything else down, square root of 3 and then 8. But I want you to see, I've got a square root of 3, and then I have an 8 times that times 3. I can actually take this 8 and 3 and multiply it. Mm -hmm. So this would actually give me the answer of 24 square root of 3 as this answer. Mm -hmm. Okay? Let me make sure I said that right. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm just going to leave that there because now we have to come up here. So this is my answer so far for this problem. I'm going to write it above it. 24 square root of 3. Okay, now let's do 3 square root of 75. Okay, 75, um, 15, 25 and 3. 25 and 3, that works. 5 and 5. Very good. Okay, so now we would rewrite it 3 and then square root of 3 times square root of 5 times square root of 5. You with me? Mm -hmm. This 5 and 5, square root of 5 and square root of 5, 
it becomes positive, just normal 5, and then the square root of 3, and then this 3 outside. So again, we take this 3 times 5, because they're like terms. 5 times 3 is 15, and then square root of 3. So this 3 square root of 75 becomes 15 square root of 3. Okay, now, this is our new problem. 24 square root of 3 minus 15 square root of 3. Both of them are square root of 3, so we can just subtract 24 minus 15, which would give us 9. And then square root of 3 is our final portion of that. Got it? Mm-hmm. Feel like you understand it? Yep. Okay, great. All right, now, some of these problems that you're going to be working like this next one, which I'm not going to work fully through. You can go back and watch those if you need to. Um, but this next one is square root of 27 uh, minus 3 square root of 18 minus 6 square root of 45. Now, let me go on and we're not going to do the work, but we're going to go on and move down and it tells me 3 square root of 3 minus, when I worked this one out, it became... 3 times 3 square root of 2 uh, minus 6 uh, times 3 square root of 5. Okay? So you would actually work those. This one would stay the same, 3 square root of 3. This one would be 3 times 3 is 9 square root of 2. And then this one would be 6 times 3, 18 square root of 5. Okay? Can I do anything else? No. No. Because this one's something square root of 3, something square root of 2, something square root of 5. So this just is the answer mm -hmm. once you finalize it all. Okay? Now, this all this stuff may not make sense because you need to work it. Yeah. But getting those answers, you can't do anything else with them. Okay? All right. Let's move on to the second part of this lesson. And it is square roots of large numbers. Now, for example, square root of 50... Okay? Now, what I can do uh, to work this problem is, uh, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to explain this to you. Um, an easy way to see this is to go five times however many zeros there are. So, this would be one and then that many zeros, four of them. Because five times 10,000 is 50,000, okay? But 10,000 is a lot quicker to break down than, okay, then you'll, you'll see this in just a minute. So because I have it in this form, what is this answer? So basically this is saying this square root of 5 times square root of 10,000, okay? Finding the square root of 10,000 is pretty easy. So in order to do this kind of big number with a bunch of zeros, this is what you will do. Okay, do you see how this is 2 and this is 2? Uh -huh. So, this square root of 10,000 would actually be that number halved. So, since there's 2, and since there's 4, you're going to actually put down 2. Mm -hmm. Okay? Are you with me so far yeah. still? Okay? And so, square root of 10,000 is actually the answer... I'm sorry. 100. I did that wrong. Okay? So, square root of 10,000, the answer means what is... Blank times blank that equals 10,000. And it's 100 times 100 that mm -hmm. equals 10,000. Yeah. You with me? Yeah. Okay, so then I have this square root of 5 still out here. So this says the square root of 5 times 100, and you just reverse it, 100 square root of 5. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do another one of those. Now, another important thing to notice is how many zeros did I have? Four. four, which is an even amount yeah. that I can easily take and do half of to yeah. get my answer. That's very important because look at this next one we're going to do. Um, 500,000. 500,000. Okay? Count how many zeros? One, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh, it's an odd number of zeros. We need to make it an even number. So watch what I do. I'm going to go square root of and I'm just going to take 50, and does then that give me an even number of zeros? Four yeah. of them. So I just took one of the zeros that I would normally put in this part of the answer, and I put it with the 50, mm -hmm. okay, or with the 5, which made it 50, times the square root of, 
And since this is 1, 2, 3, 4, we would do 1, 2, 3, 4, and put a 1. Okay, you see what I did? Yeah. Now, I could have made it square root of 5 times, and then I could have went 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros. This is the same thing as this, but I went on and put one of my zeros over here to make this even, because when I have an even number of zeros, I can just drop 2, and that's my answer. Yeah. Okay? So, I have, or drop half, and that's my answer. So, we're going to take the 50 times the 10,000. So, 10,000 now becomes 100 as the answer because 100 times 100 is 10,000. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's kind of like square root of 64. 8 times 8 is 64. Okay, you with me? Yeah. All right, so now I have square root of 50 times 100. All right, what do we know about doing the square root of 50? We take and go 50. 5 times 10. 5 is prime. 5 times 2, 5 and 2 are prime. So when we wrote this 50 out, it would be square root of 2 times 5 times 5. Okay, and again, you can make them separate. And this 5 times square root of 5 times square root of 5 would just become 5. So I'm going to put the answer 5, and then I've got this square root of 2 times 100. Okay, so hopefully you can see that. <coughs> My answer is 5 square root of 2 times 100. So, I can take my numbers, 105, and multiply them, 500. And then square root of 2 stays as square root of 2. Feel like you understand it? Yeah. All right, I'm going to do a few more. Make sure you're getting it, okay? I'm going to go at a little slower pace, so here we go. 40, I think this one's going to be million. Okay. 40 million. First thing I want to notice is how many zeros there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's not an, not an even number. Okay, so when I do this, what I would normally do is go 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then 1 with 7 zeros. Okay, that would be my normal reaction. But this will not split evenly because it's an odd number of zeros. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go and take this one zero off which will change my commas, and I'm going to bring it over here, okay? So now it's 40 times 1 million, okay? Will 1 million, the square root of 1 million, break off easy? Yes, there are six zeros, so we're only going to use three zeros. 1,000 times 1,000 is 1 million, got it? Okay, and so now I've got 1,000 as my answer, that converted that easily, but this 40, square root of 40, I'm going to need to change. So, again, I bring it over here, 4 times 10. I'm just coming up with the prime factorization. We've been doing that for a long time. So, I'm going to write down these answers. Uh, square root of 2 times square root of 2 times square root of 5 times square root of 2. And then I've got that times 1,000. Just bringing that down. Okay, this square root of 2 and this square root of 2 equals a positive 2. Then I have square root of 5 times square root of 2 times... 1,000, okay? Staying with me? Mm -hmm. Okay? So now, all right, you can actually, let me make sure I'm doing this right, yes. You can actually, um, you see the square root of two, 5 times the square root of 2? You can actually do that. What is 5 times 2? 10. So you would say the square root of 10. Okay? I don't yeah. know if you knew that you could do that. Yeah. But just like square root of 2 times the square root of 2 would give us an answer. Yeah. Square root of 5 times square root of 2 would give us square root of 10. So now I have 2 times square root of 10 times 1,000. Okay? And then I would just do my numbers. 1,000 times 2, which would be 2,000. And then I have square root of 10. 2,000 square root of 10. That's the final answer. All right? I'll do one more. Make sure you're getting it. You can rewind that and watch that over if you need to. Okay? Here we go. Here's the next one, 700 million. Okay, again, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 zeros. That's a good thing. I have an even number, so I can just take this number 7, square root of 7, and then do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 7, square root of 7 times the square root of 100 million would give us 700 million. Okay? Um, square root of 7 is the square root of 7. There is no nothing you can reduce that to. There's no prime factors. 7 is a prime number. 
So we just have to change this, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So if we half the amount of, it'll be just four of them. So the answer to this is 1 and then four zeros, which is 10,000 times 10,000 is 100 million. Understand? Yep. So if I took 10,000 and times it by 10,000, I would get 100 million. So that is my answer. It's like square root of 64, that is 8. Square root of 100 million is 10,000. Okay? Now, so now I've got square root of 7 and then 10,000. So they want, just want us to rearrange that. So we would say 10,000 square root of 7. And that would be our final answer. Okay? That is lesson 66.